Happy Wednesday. It's hump day, 8.36. Hopefully your day went well. Whew, some tough news. Um, we have another measles case. <laughs> Let's talk about autism. Autism affects an estimated 70 million people worldwide. Now think about that. 70 million people. The chances are you know someone with autism. Children with autism need our support and they need it right now. They need early diagnosis and they need access to services to give them a real chance at a better life. The question is, what can we do? The vaccines don't just contain little bits of the bacteria or the virus or an inactivated virus. It also contains other chemicals, which the natural disease would not have. Vaccines do not increase the health of a human. There's nothing in the vaccine that our bodies actually require. We don't require aluminum. We don't require mercury, polysorbate 80. We don't require formaldehyde. I believe that there are always better ways to deal with diseases in a population than vaccinating anybody. I have scientific reason to believe that the components that are in them and how they act upon the immune system and the potential for autoimmunity and cancers and neurologic diseases is there. And so I cannot guarantee that these vaccines are safe, not even one of them, let alone numerous vaccines in the childhood vaccination program given earlier and earlier and more and more. The people who want to vaccinate are often very aggressive and they don't want you to hear the other side. And that should make a light bulb in your head go off. Why don't they want me to hear the other side? Why don't they think I can actually listen to both and come up with my own decision. The biggest problem I have is that parents aren't given equally weighted information. They're given highly biased information. So that's another technique that's used is I showed you the other slide from uh, the Mayo Clinic, which said to persuade rather than to inform. They say, don't plan on giving you any printed information. Don't plan on emailing you any links to information. Does that seem a little strange? They're saying not to give you the information. They said, instead, read and remember. Well, that's not happening. I can guarantee you that. This, I think, is the worst, most egregious statement here, which is he's telling them to persuade you rather than inform you.